What is up guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at four uh, battles that were submitted to me over the weekend from, from various sets. I chose the four that I thought were the most interesting and most exciting to watch. And we're just gonna go through it, just kind of give a little farewell for Great League for now. Uh, but speaking of Great League, you guys are going to want to watch the next couple videos I'm going to put out. It's going to be about um, Pokemon that you probably have that are no longer good. So <laughs> it's gonna be about the new level cap, the, the Pokemon that have um, even more improved IVs at level 51 or at over level 40 that um, you're gonna wanna get to have like that maximum edge against your opponents. Uh, so basically like the new number one ranked IVs for various popular meta relevant Pokemon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and then I'm gonna be talking about, there's just a lot of good videos I wanna show you guys about Ultra League, what Pokemon are now viable for Ultra League and Great League. Um, and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. If you want to subscribe just to make sure you uh, see it Please do and that would be awesome. And uh, without further ado, let's just go into the first battle So our first or our first trainer is acid power 98. So shout out to him running a triple water team now this was probably uh, recorded a while back because you can see like the trainer level is a little bit lower I'm sure he's much higher by now because he makes one of the craziest plays I've seen, and you're gonna see it happens towards the end. Um, but anyways, their opponent switches into a Crustle, and then the Whizcash is gonna throw a Blizzard. Uh, and it lands, and I believe uh, it is, I think that was a neutral attack. Um, so, excuse me, neutral attack. But does a ton of damage because Blizzard did get a little bit of an attack buff, so a little bit increase in damage. So Blizzard hits a little bit harder now than before. And then back in with the lantern and gonna shield the uh, the X scissor and then farm down. So maybe was worried about a rock slide or something like that. Uh, maybe probably could have saved a shield there. I don't think it would have done too much damage rock slide. But anyways, goes for the hydro pump and gets shielded by the Galarian Stunfisk. So the Galarian Stunfisk, if they could land an earthquake, it would one shot it for sure. But uh, goes for the rock slide instead and does not KO it. So now the lantern's gonna get another chance at a hydro pump and it lands this time, knocking out. Or not, it didn't knock out, but it almost knocked out. Sorry, it almost knocked out the Galarian Stunfisk. So it ends up burning its last shield, and that was very strange. Because watch what happens they switch out. So they burn a shield on like an almost fainted lantern, and you're gonna see why. Well, what happens right now. So this man, Mantine, which is actually running Wing Attack Aerial Ace, so kind of a spicy move there with Aerial Ace, throws two, well, it's gonna get to the second one now, but it's gonna throw two Bubble Beams at the, the Wiz Cash. Now, I was thinking they could have maybe saved, if they had saved the shield and correctly shielded that Blizzard, I think they would have won anyways, but this was a very unique way to win. Uh, throwing Bubble Beams, which lowers the Wiz Cash's attack enough for the lantern to come back in. And next, I think this is a third bubble beam now, a third or fourth, I lost count. But anyways, the attack is so low that the lantern was able to come in and farm just enough energy to land a thunderbolt for the win. And that was just a crazy way to end that battle. That was like some 3000 level IQ play because I probably would have just let the lantern go, to be honest, that was me. But because of the bubble beams, lowering the attack on the Wizcash, even though ground is super effective against Lantern, uh, the Lantern was able to come back in and safely farm up to a Thunderbolt. And that was just a crazy, crazy play. So congrats, that was very well played. And let's go to the next trainer, leg level 29, single move, <laughs> interesting name. Going with Scrafty, Skarmory, and Golbat. These are all pretty much the standard moves. So Shadow Ball, Poison Fang on the Golbat. Uh, the two flying moves on Skarmory, you know, Brave Bird, Sky Attack, and then, of course, Foul Play, Power Up Punch on Scrafty. Pretty standard. Um, but anyways, uh, they switch out into a, well, Golbat. He switches out to Golbat. This was a strategy that they were using to kind of draw out the flyer counters and then hopefully try to land as many Shadow Balls as possible to either burn those shields or win that secondary matchup. And then once, like, the flying counter is out of the way, Skarmory usually kind of comes in and cleans up. So that was a very kind of interesting strategy. Um, a very good strategy there. And then, although this Stunfisk is not what they want to see because the electric moves are super effective against both the flyers. So this is not really a good Pokemon that they want to see. <laughs> but so I would imagine this Scrafty needs to kind of stay in to make sure they get rid of this threat. The Scraft or the Stunfisk is a big threat to this team. And surprisingly, not shielding. 
going for the farm down, realizing they cannot get to uh, the, the full farm down, so they have to throw a power-up punch. So they, they waste that energy a little bit, but they do get a power-up, you know, boof, boof, a boost. <laughs> I was trying to say buff or boost, and I said boof. But anyways, the foul play doesn't do a lot of damage to that Azu, because even if, even if it's powered up, the Azu resists it. So here is where this, it's all up to this Skarmory. Gonna shield and correctly predicts the Hydro Pump. So that was a very good shield there. And then this is pretty much just the Skarmory's game to win. So it has to survive. Gonna go for, gonna charge up to back to back sky attacks. Gets the last shield and then has one more ready to go. And the fact that the Azumarill shielded is probably a big tell that they're gonna go for one more Hydro Pump. So it's pretty safe to shield this one. They're probably not gonna be baiting. Uh, so correctly guesses Hydro Pump again and then is able to farm down the Azu, and then against the Tropius, gonna go for the Brave Bird because Sky Attack will not KO from this range. So goes for the Brave Bird and does KO the Tropius for the win. So very well played there. Awesome game, awesome game. Going into the third game, trainer name is Random Feeling. Shout out to Random Feeling. I just talked to that person on Twitch today in Daniel Zaniri's stream. So. <laughs> <laughs> so hello again, and this is a matchup that actually they lose Obstagoon if Obstagoon burns shields can win this lead matchup. And I know this because I played with an Obstagoon lead many, many times. So I know this matchup very well from the reverse. But if you do let a Sky Attack go, it is possible to lose with Obstagoon. So the Obstagoon looks like they know better. So they shield the Sky Attack and then the Skarmory kind of knows what's going on. So they shield. And gonna try to land another sky attack or get that second shield. So either way, you have an advantage depending on which trainer you are. If you win the lead, you have the advantage. But if you win the lead, you're gonna be at a shield deficit. So um, let's see how this this game plays out. It's playing out pretty much normally how I think most trainers will play it. So the Obstagoon wins switch, but is at a shield deficit. And then a Loma Mola comes in, one of the spiciest Pokemon in Great League. Not many people running it. Um, I did know, I I heard that Zionic did make a video about this. It was probably a, a while ago. I think, I, I'm sure I saw it. Um, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But the shields are down and then just gets to the charge move just in time. That Meganium was pretty much right about to throw a Frenzy Plant. But takes a Blizzard to the face and gets knocked out. One shot. So now this Hypno is not looking good because this trainer still has a shield. And it's about to throw a Psychic. Uh, this is resisted, of course, because Psychic resists Psychic, but still, did a chunk of damage. And now Galarian Stunfisk is in and mm, could shield just to be safe, just in case it was like a Focus Blast or something. Just in case you haven't seen that last video I uploaded about Focus Blast Hypno, uh, I'll put that in the card maybe or just go to my channel, you'll see it. <laughs> it's like one of the last videos I uploaded. Anyways, uh, Obstagoon comes back in. And the G Fisk has a bunch of energy, and so is going to able going to be able to knock out the Obstagoon. Now, in interesting that Stunfisk did catch that Hypno trying to switch, trying to do the sack swap. So very good eye on this this trainer's part, uh, catching that opponent trying to catch that move. And so because he did that, was able to get the Earthquake off for the win. So very very good game. That's one of the hardest things to do against tougher trainers is like anticipating that switch out because a lot of good trainers will be trying to do that sack swap every single opportunity that they can so you got to really be careful last battle last but not least one of my patrons poppy071 so shout out to uh, poppy071 leading with sir fetched and running a pelipper in the middle and then a lolan marowak in the back so has some options here in terms of a, a switch I'm not sure which one he was running as a safe switch, but either way, this is a pretty good lead, but does take a Shadow Bone to the face and then loses that lead matchup. So we're gonna come in with the Pelipper and try to farm up a little bit of extra energy before throwing the Weather Ball. This will for sure knock out because it's super effective. And the opponent lets it go. So both players conserving those shields. And now we have an Azu. This is not a great matchup, especially if that Azu has Ice Beam, because that will do neutral damage the water will resist it but the flying attack is weak to it so tim shields there and gonna go for the hurricane this will definitely do a big chunk of damage and azu was expecting it so very good shield by the opponent's part um, but this pelipper is not giving up yet i think it can tank an ice beam so let's see yep it does tank it pretty well 
And then gonna go for one more hurricane, but no, goes for the shield bait instead. So double charges to a weather ball and then throws a weather ball and gets the last shield. So that was huge. Can they get to a hurricane? Ooh, gonna gonna burn the shield. They're going for it. So he's going for this hurricane. And see, this is where I would be scared personally of the Azu switching out. But luckily the Azu stayed in and is gonna have to take this hurricane and it gets knocked out. And now it's a Scrafty. And this is not a great matchup for Marowak because Scrafty's foul plays will deal super effective damage. Would have been nice for that helper to stay alive a little bit longer <laughs> but he has a secret up his sleeve and it's a fire blast and just i believe this was a cmp tie here i don't know it was really close it gets to the fire blast just in the nick of time and knocks out the scrafty for the win <laughs> so that was a really really good game that was the win condition if he had shadow ball or any other move he would have lost so having that spice move fire blast totally came in handy uh, what a great, great battle. And so we're just going to uh, leave it at that. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, stay tuned for the next videos where I will be talking about Pokemon that you will probably have to remake for Great League. And then the video after that, I'm going to be talking about new Pokemon that are now viable for Great League thanks to the new level cap. And then after that, I'm going to be talking about new Pokemon that are now vi more viable for Ultra League given the new level cap. So very interesting stuff. You're going to want to see that. So stay tuned. Thanks again so much for watching. Hope you have a great night and we'll see you then.